axis. Back steer like some old bloodhound staring out across the bay. Watching the stars come in and go. But it's not their light I long to see. It's a beacon I look for. The flame lighting up the mountainside, announcing the war fleet returning triumphant from Troy. Down oh, until that day, it's four sleepless nights for me. Watching, waiting, soaked in dew, wrapped up in longing and despair. For ten long years I've waited here before the palace of Atreus for its king, Agamemnon, to return from war. His father killed my brothers. That horrible slaughter of innocence that drove my father mad. And so, I wait to take my revenge. I sleep in Agamemnon's bed, plot with his wife a bloody end to the tyrant husband who sickens us both. But when will my enemy return? For hour on endless hour I keep my restless watch. I've learned every star in the sky. Each shining sentinel dispensing winter or warmth to those below. But I hunger for a different light, a distant beacon signaling that Troy has fallen. My cursed cousin Agamemnon, victorious and homeward bound for my trap. <coughs> Fear not sleep, King Steve Hunter, pinning my eyes awake. I try to whistle or hum a tune to ease the hours, but end each song in tears to think how Agamemnon's father destroyed my family. Oh, God, bring me some luck at last, an end to my long, weary watch, a distant beacon driving back the misty darkness, heralding a new chapter, my chapter, in the history of this wretched house. But look, can it be? Can it be? I'm a weary eyes playing tricks. A light shines in the distance. The beacon's a light. The lions on fire! Master! There, in the dark night, the signal, the sparks, the signal to set our city dancing. Oh, luck at last! Oh, if only the beacon speaks true, I know that the memo will return. I'll clasp his dear hand. And then? Oh no, I'll say nothing. Of the viper's nest that waits his return. I'm like the man in the proverb with an ox sat on his tongue. Oh, but if these walls could speak, they'll tell the general plain enough all that's passed and been left for. Well, we'll know soon enough that good Oriole 
I only hope our king returns. But it's not for such as me to question who, what, why, how. Tomorrow's dawn will make all play. seem a distant dream, an impossible hope, and now the dream has come true. The hope fulfilled, I'm home. Now I can die happy in the land of my fathers. My friends, my friends, bid us welcome, as lucky ones the spear has spared. We stand humbled before this royal house, and pray the ancient ghosts more honoured than the sun shine forth their radiance on our general's victorious return. Thy like dawn in dark night, returning he comes from the shore, home at last, at last. Praise him as the finest of warriors, the greatest son of this house. Our enemies at Troy felt his yoke around their necks. The wretched Paris and his cronies no longer think their crimes worthwhile. Paris! Who forced himself on another's queen? Paris, the pirate, the defiler, the sneak thief in the middle of the night, has been brought to justice. He and his city have paid the price for the priest's arrogance. Pay and pay again. Oh, 
tears than they are to for me. It's only right. You know, for those who long for our own ones, swift return. Our hearts were often sick with grief at what we must do to be all. How long absence made you bitter? Or was there something else? I'm not saying another word. I don't dare. It's not for me to tell you anymore. But what could have brought you greater despair than the absence of those you love? You said before you could die happy now. Yes. Now the victory is ours. Troy vanquished, had a return in the battle <laughs> one. Now, as you get older, you'll find there's no good without bad. Only the gods have unending joy. I'm sorry for an absence. Our hardship too has been great. Living like animals on the voyage out. Crushed on the crowded decks, crammed into airless quarters. Thin blankets, thinner rations, everyone can play. And then, as we waited before the gates of Troy of the news, we breached its walls. We sat for months on marshy ground in dry rain. Damp so thick, the clothes rotted on our bodies. Cold so cruel, the birds fell frozen from the skies. And the lice, ferocious winters, baking summers, and always the flat calm of the ocean laughed at us. I'm making mockery of the human sacrifice our leader made to our swift passage. Are you that lonely again? It's over. We won. That's all. Sir. Sir. for our protection. Praise our leaders. Praise those at home who inspire us. It's time to own our victory. We are the conquerors of Troy. That's all there is to say. But that's matters. I bring good news to your queen. I can on this close by and anxious to embrace those loyal to The end of Troy was brutal. We left the streets ringing with the clash of jarring crowds. Greek oil and Trojan vinegar in the same bowl. Trojans left for husbands, brothers, parents, men, and for themselves, soon to be slaves. And we Greeks, and it's like sharpening our brutal work, plundered that mighty city for all we could get, swarming into Trojan beds to sleep like gods at last. Friends, it's over now. You are home again. The war death passing late. I can hear the end of the I thought it wise to leave offerings to see these gods and honor their captured shrines so they might overlook the rape of their women, the plunder of their coffers, the rubble of God's beautiful squares and found such offerings to our wives. The last to conquer could be a dangerous task. May the gods protect us from such affairs. A shepherd can be found. Slappy. Mighty and beloved Agamemnon, 
Remember those who greet you with love and loyalty when betrayal bites. Welcome home, Majesty. May God's grant you wisdom to recognize who stay true. <laughs> I 
<laughs> Such a beautiful moment should be spoken by the elders, not you. We barbarians, glorying in crimson carpets. I need no such puffed up flattery, no woman grumbling before me. This is welcome for a god. And I am mortal. Who urge me to behave as they do and invite fate to crush me. Look on me as a husband, not a god. My achievement so called for such honor. Modesty is valued in the eyes of heaven. Let no man or woman celebrate until their days are over and all the God's plans revealed. I am humbled by my blessings. I will not parade them in expectation of more. My lord, husband, majesty. Say what you like on the chain, my man. Is it some vow, some promise to the gods? That is no concern of yours, I mean what I say. And Paris, what would he have done? Obeying the queen. 
We have no choice. Step into the courtyard and something. Special pity for this. There are animals left for sacrifice already at the altar. You are no baby. Oh, Sir, show her what to do. She has to learn to eat it. She's a pork. Pork! You can't know what you want her to do. Only oh, she's there.
beaten and dejected and threw himself at Atreus' feet. And, and that uncle of mine, a man who knew no God, appeared merciful. He spared his starving brother's life. Instead, he feasted him. My father, his brother, offered him a, a feast of flesh and reconciliation. A feast of flesh. My father's own children's flesh. Oh! He hit the fingers and toes deep in the dish, covered it with meat. Less obvious. And my father, in his innocence, picked it up and ate oh. until he realized the horror, the abomination. He reeled that wretching, oh. cursing the butcher's work. But how can you, a stranger, a prisoner of war from a distant land, know such secrets as if they were your own? All seeing Apollo reveals everything oh. to me. I see them. Your brothers, Thyestes' children, Antilus, and Thyestes. The dead walk amongst us. Youthful promise cuts down before its time. Slaughtered within by the uncle they loved. In revenge for the rape of his queen.
Miss Daniels holds her down. Men she knew by name. Men she had sold to at rich banquets, honouring her father's name with her pure virgin voice. Like a goat, they held her face down on the altar, a gag across her mouth as she spoke words of ill omen for the voyage. He bartered her death for quick passage to win Helen back. Her struggle, her pleasing eyes, counted for nothing. Oh, it's true! <coughs> oh, I believe it. Will anyone tell me now? It's time to die. She's prophesied. The words with no sense. But there's still hope. Always hope. My end must come. You are brave, child. Don't say that for me. Kind words. But spoken to the end. Is there no who dares to die with dignity? Like my city.
stand there crying in triumph. Don't lecture me, as if I was some simple girl, afraid of your scolding. Bow low, my folly! Oh, no. <laughs>
A shameful end committed by women's guile, struck down by a wife's hand. Shameful! <laughs> Your as pathetic as the rest! You shoot us like possessions, and it's your shame on the tables! He ruled his family like his country. He threw all the evidence to the heal his throat of pride, and made a sacrifice of our daughter to get him there. Now, in return, he's paid for my happiness. Malice 
of malice. Little the truth between them. Doom is an ever present guest in this wretched house. A spoiler is spoiled. A killer killed. Zeus decrees that evil will come to those who practice evil. Will this cycle ever end? Sweet girl, remember your brother in this. Have you forgotten? Arrest Zeus! Of course not. He's my brother. I'll say press him. And the guilty ones? The murderers? Shall I trace it then? Only that the gods keep close watch on them. Since he judged not to advise and punishment. Well, no one would quarrel with their murder. It's ancient justice. Death for death. Apollo, have pity. Send a rest his home. We need him now. Thank you.